following is an exclusive presentation of MTN, the official broadcast partner of the Big Sky Conference. From MTN Sports, this is Big Sky Conference football, Montana versus Idaho State. Welcome to Pocatello, Idaho, the whole arena, one of the oldest college venues in America as far as indoor football. I'm Jay Cohn with the MTN Sports Team, and I'm joined again by NFL coach Marty Morningweg and the Grizzly Hall of Fame quarterback. Big game today, Marty, and uh, the Grizzlies, they're clicking on all cylinders coming in. That was a statement game last week in all aspects, offense, defense, and special teams. Let's talk about the Grizzly offense. It's Lucas Johnson, the transfer quarterback from San Diego State. He leads the big sky in total offense, and he's really coming in and setting this team on fire. Jay, he's a touchdown creator. He's got a lot of skill around him. Expect to see big points today. And of course the defense led by senior safety Robbie Houck, now the all-time leading tackler in Grizzly history. And the fans are still buzzing about that kick six play. His first career touchdown for the Grizzlies last weekend. What a great game Robbie had last week. He's sort of the rock on that Grizzly defense. Highly talented. Grizzly defense. Now let's talk about Idaho State. They've been hit by the injury bug at the quarterback slot, but they're going with sophomore Sagan Gronauer out of Las Vegas. He's the man today. He was the third team man. Now he's their starter. What a great opportunity for this young man. And we have two sophomores to keep an eye on. Raiden Hunter, the running back, and Xavier Guillory. His coach says he might be the best receiver in the Big Sky Conference. Great young skill men for the Idaho State Bengals. Grizzly Replay kicks off with the first quarter right after this. MTN Sports. This is Grizzly Replay. Here's new coach Charlie Regal of the Idaho State Bengals. Still looking for his first win. He comes in having signed on with the Idaho State head man in December of 2021. Prior to that, he was in the Pac-12 for 12 years as the California Special Teams Coordinator. And also before that with Arizona, both special teams and tight end. And how about Bobby Howe, the winningest coach in Grizzly history, and now number two all-time in Big Sky Conference. Here in the opening minutes, Johnson fakes the handoff, throws over the middle, and it's intercepted, intended for Barker, the tight end, and out of bounds, so a big turnover here against the Grizz as Johnson's pass. Nearly at midfield, Gronauer on the snap, looking deep, and has a man. That's Xavier Guillory. Uh, Penalty flag in. Might be one of those targeting things. Let's look at that. Gronauer over the middle. Kaboom. Now. But he lifts with his elbow, it looked. Yeah, you can't go to the head. I'll tell you, Jay, the safety of the players at every level is critical. And that's what the NFL, the NCAA, the youth football programs, the high school football programs are trying to get rid of these type of plays for the safety of the players. And anytime you talk about the safety of the players, it's a good thing. All right, here's After Greg, review, Greg the ruling of targeting is confirmed. Number three is disqualified for the remainder of the game. A 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. Automatic first down. So Trajan Cotton ejected for targeting empty backfield. Third and 15, pressure comes. He's going deep into the end zone. And that's gonna be pass interference. Flag on the play against the Grizz defense. Gronauer with split backs, drops back, looking over the middle, finds his man, and that was knocked out of bounds. Good defense over in the corner. That was Dawson right there. What a great cut. You see that a lot, don't you? A man gets a P.I. and then all of a sudden he breaks up a touchdown pass. Let's watch the replay of this great coverage here by Dawson. Oh, it's a stutter go down deep. What great coverage. See, his eyes were back there. All the Grizz viewers 
the, the, his eyes were back, so he, he, he didn't get the P.I. call. Ian Hershey, the freshman kicker on scholarship here at Idaho State. And the young man is good. He's from Chubbuck, Idaho. It's up second and 10. Osmo fakes the handoff from Johnson. Now the pass complete. Just a beautiful throw. Keelan White from Lucas Johnson to Keelan White. Beautiful throw. First and 10 for the Grizz inside the 30-yard line at the 28. They give to Osmo again. He breaks in the open of the 20, the 15. Crushing tackle as he gets down to the 12-yard line. But more running room. Yeah, now the Grizz are in the red zone once again. No penalties, no sacks. Why? They're so difficult to overcome down here. There's not enough room to overcome. Right? Get the ball vertical at some point, even on a wide play. Get the ball vertical. That extra one to two or three yards is critical down in that red zone. And that's the end of the first quarter. Three nothing. Shock of shots. Bengals on top. Big Sky Conference football you're watching here from MTN Sports. We'll be back after this. Get social with Grizzly fans and follow MTN Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, here's the second quarter on Grizzly Replay. Well, we're talking a lot about dome football playing inside. Well, the consensus best dome in college football, maybe the Carrier Dome. But how about in the FCS, the Fargo Dome leads the way. It holds 20,000 fans. It opened in 1992. But you know what? The granddaddy of them all is right here. The Hold Arena built in 1970. The oldest dome still in use in the country. Only the Astrodome is, is older. Looks like the Bengals are going to rush three. Drop eight with a spy on Lucas Johnson. Johnson stutter steps, crosses the five, and crosses the goal line. Heads up play. Johnson had some time, looked around, said, I'm going to tuck it and go. Yeah, the spy was right there. You'll see it on the replay. And Lucas Johnson is so talented. He's almost like a Jalen Hurts or one of those really most Steve Young, one of those really mobile quarterbacks. Us were a spy. It just doesn't work. Here's the replay as Johnson says, I can get past this spy. And he crosses the goal line to put the Grizz on the board. And Nick Ramos splits the uprights for the Grizzlies to give us a 7-3. The Grizzlies, 7-3. Eight minutes, 11 seconds left here in the first half. Sagan Gronauer back to pass, and he gets some pressure, and this time the Grizzlies get to him. Jay, he was sacked like potatoes in Idaho right there. I'll tell you what, they, the Grizz put them back in deep, deep field goal range here. And here comes a field goal attempt for the Bengals from Ian Hershey. This will be close to a 50-yarder. And he has the leg, and it's good. Nice kick. Snap, hold, and kick with protection. You can see why Ian Hershey has a scholarship. Here's the kickoff. Another pooch kick. That's what they're doing against the Grizzlies, it seems like. It. Oh, no. And another fumble rolls forward, and Idaho State gets it back. We have talked about weird games in here, and the Grizzlies on that pooch kick. Idaho State in excellent field position here. Ball at their own 45-yard line as the clock starts ticking down towards four minutes left at halftime. Grunauer all kinds of time, and he throws a pick right to number 54, and he's still on his feet. Great job by the Grizzlies. Gronauer would like to have that pass back. Flink, one of those Missoula, Montana kids. Here's the give to Marcus Knight. Finds running room across the 20-yard line down to the 16. That's a first down for the Grizz. So how quickly things change. Boy, those turnovers, the momentum follows them. Two field goals by Idaho State has kept the Grizz at bay. They've been bit by the turnover bug, but now the Grizz have their own turnover, trying to cash it in, and Marcus Knight goes inside the three, down to the two, maybe the one-yard line. And a big push by the offensive line, Marty. Ball just shy of the two-yard line. Lucas Johnson calling the signals, gives the Knight up the middle, tries to dive into the end zone, and the initial signal is he crosses the plane. So Marcus Knight 
on a little jump from the two-yard line. Idaho fans aren't sure, Idaho State fans, but Marcus, as I mentioned, trying to regain that magic from the 2019 season. He had a terrible injury, sat out two years, but he's got to feel good about this effort. Jaden Garcia, the offensive lineman, called for that motion. So Gronauer drops back, and he's getting some pressure. Cole, Kale Edwards, and a big sack down inside the 10-yard line. All right, Lucas Johnson and the Grizzlies offense. 2.14 to go, and the give is two. That's Xavier Harris, and he runs out of bounds across the 30 for the first down. And the Grizz really haven't taken a shot down the field. Let's see if they might draw something up here in the last minute and a half. Johnson across the middle. That's Malik Flowers, and he hauls it in at the 44-yard line. Nice catch. Mitch Roberts split out here to the near side across the middle, and that's who Lucas Johnson finds on the pass as he gets down inside the 25. Mitch Roberts, the Missoula native. Malik Flowers split off to the left side. Mitch Roberts here to the near side. Keelan White also there. Johnson's going to run it. Punch and down. he throws a wide open. Keelan White, touchdown. Jay, they chose to try to score the touchdown, taking a shot. And what a great job by Lucas Johnson. He went up and out to his left in the pocket, and that forced the Bengals to drop coverage. Well, watch this coverage get dropped. Johnson steps up, avoids the rush, and goes, boy, that's, that's called wide open. Wide open, that's a busted coverage. Idaho State has nothing to be ashamed of. That was, they really punched the Grizz in the mouth a couple of times. Let's go down to the sidelines where Kyle Hansen is with head coach Howe. Hey, Kyle? Hey guys, I'm here with Grizz head coach Bobby Howe. Bobby, seven to six, you guys leading later down the second quarter. You guys seize momentum. How are you guys able to do it? Well, we quit giving the ball back and goofing it up. The enemy is us in this case, Kyle. So we got to get that straightened out, but it was a good finish. Ultimately, from your defense, Idaho State, some success in that first quarter. What would you like from your guys in that second quarter to get that back as well? Well, our defense is playing great. We're giving them the ball in, in bad parts of the field. We quit doing that. It was probably just a little more out of line. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you very much, Kyle. Coach Houck, we're heading to halftime. Coach Houck's going to have a little discussion with his charges, but for now, right now, it's 21 to 6 on the Les Schwab scoreboard. There's your halftime score. Grizzlies 21, Idaho State 6. Take coverage of the Grizz with you. Download our app for your favorite mobile device today. Time for the third quarter on Grizzly Replay. Welcome back, fans. Glad to have you with us as we're watching Big Sky Conference football from inside the whole arena here in Pocatello, Idaho. It's 21-6, Grizz at the halftime. Right at their own five-yard line. Saw some of the fans looking on, enjoying this game inside the facility. Here's the pass to Cole Grossman across the 10, near the 15-yard line, and that should be close to the first down, maybe just a yard short. Hey, Hagler in on the stop. For Idaho State. Here's Nick Osmo getting some running room out across the right hand side of the line and he busts across the 20 out to the 23 and that is enough for a first down for Montana. Let's see what what the call is from the Grizz coaching staff as Johnson calls for the snap drops straight back has Osmo loose throws across the middle that looks like Aaron Fonts wide open. Johnson Gives up the middle to Osmo, breaks it open at the 50. He's loose across the 45, down to the 43-yard line. Good running there by Osmo. 18-yard gain by Osmo on that run. There goes Xavier Harris in motion. Lucas brings it down. And again, it's Aaron Fonts right on the sideline at the inside the 30, down to close to the 28-yard line. That's another first down. So let's see what the Grizzlies have in store here in first and 10. It looks like a double pass. Throws it back to Barker. Unloads in the end zone to Grossman. I think he caught it. Touchdown. Nice. Cole Grossman hauled it in over his shoulder. And I think that pass was from 88. Cole. Eric Barker. Cole Grossman. That's a great catch in the back of the end zone. And I believe his butt cheek came down inbounds for the touchdown. Here's the replay. All right, 
Oh, it's Mitch Roberts passing it. Not 88, but 80. And watch Grossman. Yeah, his right cheek. Now, that was a great pass by a receiver. I played with a man named Dave Glenn who thought he was the best passing non-quarterback <laughs> in the big sky. I think number 80 might be that, the best passing non-quarterback. Maybe in the nation. That was a beautiful throw. He's also holding here. He's multi-talented. Ramos splits the upright. So Mitch Roberts, he catches the ball. He passes the ball. And he holds on the, on the extra points. Let's take a look on the Brett's RV replay at that double pass. Lucas Johnson back to Mitch Roberts, who unloads it in the end zone. This is Cole Grossman, the tight end. And look at the good defense. But he got his cheek down in the end zone before he went out of bounds, Marty. So they're faking the speed option that they did several times last week. Throw the ball backwards to Roberts. And what a what a throw by Roberts. I mean, that was a good <laughs> coverage with a great reception uh, and by, by, by a really good tight end. I really like this tight end. I think he's undervalued just a little bit because all the other skill guys that are around him. The clock ticks off the end of the third quarter. That'll take us to break with the Grizzlies leading at 28 to 6. You're watching Big Sky Conference football from MTN Sports. There's more coverage of the Grizzlies online anytime at montanasports.com. Get ready for the fourth quarter on Grizzly Replay. Big Sky Conference football fourth quarter action now from Pocatello, Idaho State trailing 28 to 6. The Grizzlies have scored 21 straight points since Idaho State kicked that big 50 yard field goal to make it a 7 to 6 game. Let's see what happens here. Another big third down, third and six. Idaho State, Grizz bring pressure. Gronauer is going to get sacked this time. That's Gubner, but also at the bottom of the. O'Connell, Marcus Knight in the backfield behind Johnson and Knight gets the carry and breaks into the open at the 40 to the 35. It's a foot race to the 20. I don't think they're going to catch him. They got him at the five. Grizz have it first and goal at the five yard line. Knight remains as the single running back and he fakes the handoff. Lucas Johnson runs to the right. Can he get it in? Ooh, the ball was loose there. Went out of bounds. Might end up being a touchback. Did it hit the pylon and go out of bounds? Yeah, yeah. Touchback. Gronauer, seeing if he can go deep. He's got a man open. Shoves up. Fredrickson, and he caught that one again. Boy, he's got some good, good hands. Let's see what the penalty flag is. The defender thinks he was interfered with. Gronauer goes up to the line of scrimmage and just does the quarterback sneak for the first down across the 30. Out of the 29, the Grizz could see what was coming. They couldn't quite get there to stop at a time. Gronauer calls for the snap. Grizzlies bring some pressure, and he goes deep right away, and it's caught for the touchdown. Uh, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Jay, you had it exactly right. That was another zero blitz. Man-to-man -man coverage across the board. So they better take some shots here. That's Shane Daly Jr. again. The receiver caught it and went out of bounds right away. That'll stop the clock and will pick up the first down. Third and ten. Regal, offensive coordinator. Taylor Mazone getting the play in to his quarterback. Gronauer back, getting some pressure right over the middle. Wide open is Guillory. Tackled there. But not before he gets over the 25 down to the, or, yeah, down to the 23 yard line, excuse me. So the clock stops momentarily and then it starts when they get the change set. Clock ticking down to a minute 10 now. You see it in the corner. Gronauer looking to his left and he has Cypress again. Wallace down to the one. Cyrus Wallace. Gronauer comes up under center. Tries to sneak it, and I believe he got in on second effort. He did. The Grizz knew what was coming. The quarterback sneak, so they played the quarterback sneak, A, B, and C gap, and then the quarterback just rolled, sort of rolled out of it, second effort, and got it in the end zone. 
good second effort by Gronauer. The Grizzlies had him temporarily stop. There's the Grizz in their victory formation on the center of the field. 28 to 20, the final score here from Pocatello. Hope you enjoyed our broadcast, folks, here on the NTN Sports Network. For my partners, Marty Morningway, Kyle Hansen on the field, John Stepanek in the booth, I'm Jay Cohn. For all of our entire MTN crew, thanks for watching today. Once more, the final score, Montana upends Idaho State 28-20. We'll see you in a couple of weeks back here on the MTN Sports Network.